What is up, YouTube? It's Melton Metal Anthony, and I'm here with another What the Fuck Wednesday. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one, because it's a weird one. Alright, so today... I've, I, I want, I've been wanting to test something for a while for you guys, and I just didn't know the right time, and quite frankly, I really didn't have time, but right now is kind of my slow season. All the general contractors I work for are closing their accounts out, so I have a little bit of spare time on my hands. I do have a couple of projects coming up, a couple of bids in the works, but honestly, I'm foreseeing that happening next year. Anyway, back to what are we doing with this What the Fuck Wednesday? Well, you see this battery I got here, and you see these jumper cables. Some of you more savvy guys probably know where I'm going with this, but I've heard of it, I've never seen it done, and I've never done it myself, and you could probably Google it and find a video of somebody else doing it, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise for myself. Emergency welding, using a battery and a set of jumper cables to create a current to weld two pieces of metal together in an emergency. Is it possible, and what works best if you have it? So today I have a 7018, a 6010. I have a piece of 332nd TIG rod. And then now, to the true basis of the emergency welding, and what you might, and what you would, you know, more likely have in, uh, you know, whatever, like a zombie apocalypse scenario or what might have you, a coat hanger. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check these out. We're going to see if it really works and uh, see how many beads you can get out of a battery this size. I pulled this out of the skids too, like you've seen me do. And um, we're going to see what it does. I'm kind of excited. I've been wanting to test this for, I don't know, two years. I just didn't have time. So today, we're going to make it happen. We're going to give it a shot. And we're going to see what happens. See if it actually is a viable process. If you're in an emergency, if you're stuck somewhere, and you have a set of jumper cables, you a coat hanger, and a battery, which obviously you do in your vehicle. So let's see if this can get you out of a pickle. All right, guys, so now that I got everything out here ready to go, we got our battery on the ground, our jumper cable's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my PPE. All right, so that snapped on quickly. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. So here's some 11 gauge angle iron pieces I had laying around. I figured these would be pretty good little tests because I can just clamp these together with the negative side of the battery cable and then go ahead and try to run a bead along the top and then maybe run one in here and just see what it's about and see what happens. So I went ahead and cut the bottom piece out of the coat hanger because obviously I can't clamp the whole thing in there and try to use that as a welding rod. So we've got our battery all hooked up. So here's the first problem of having it. Just getting it in the jumper cables is very difficult. This is not what they're made to do. So, so let's see what happens. I think this rod might be too thick. Okay, so that's not working. Let's try something a little thinner. So the coat hanger is really not working very well either. This is sticking in there the best. All right, so that doesn't seem to work either. Try the 7018. 
All right, guys, after failing with the 7018, the coat hanger, the 6010, and the 332nd TIG rod, I went and got myself a 16, 6013 I had laying around. This is a sheet metal rod. I've used this like uh, the last time I really used it was on that stairway project you guys seen me do. So this is the smallest thing I have left. It could be that this battery is just undersized. This is the only battery I'm willing to ruin to do this. So if I can't get it to light up with this one, I'm kind of out of options. But let's see if it'll run this uh, 6013 332nd rod or 16th rod, actually. This is a 16th. Smallest thing I have. Looks like it's touching. Let's see if we can maybe get our ground in a better way. Maybe that'll do something. No. It's almost getting hot enough to weld. Let's see what happens. Doing something. Well, baby. It don't have enough of something. Weld, baby. Weld. Well, it's melting the rod. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's try, uh, let's try reversing the polarity and see what happens then. All right. Woo. All right, guys. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like that works. Um, maybe it doesn't have enough current. Maybe not enough resistance or something like that in order to light off a bead. Um, but we tried. We tried with 16 rod. We tried with 332nd rod, which was just TIG rod. We tried with a coat hanger. We tried with 8th inch uh, 6010 and also 8th inch 7018 which I don't think would really be an emergency situation type thing you'd have in your vehicle if you're just Joe Blow. The point of this was to try to see that if you were stuck somewhere, could you take your battery out of your vehicle, use your jumper cables and maybe an old coat hanger or a piece of metal you had laying around to go off and strike a bead and weld together whatever you did. As of now, I am not convinced that you can. I'm not. If I did something wrong or you guys know of a different way to do this, maybe we need to daisy chain three or four batteries together. Maybe I just need a bigger battery. Maybe something isn't, I'm not doing something right. I tried um, DECP and I tried DECN, DCEN. So electronegative and electropositive, and neither of them worked. Um, go ahead, leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a different way of doing this or if maybe you've done this in the past and made it work somehow. Today, unfortunately, it doesn't look like uh, I'm the guy for the job. But uh, anyway, that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles when you're experimenting like this. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping to strike off a nice bead for you guys and maybe learn something myself and maybe you guys would learn something. But I, I think this is a good what the fuck Wednesday. I'm sure this gave you a couple of you guys a, the, the what the fuck is he doing type of uh, feeling. But anyway, um, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. Like, comment, subscribe, do the whole nine. And I'll catch you on the next one. Keep dragging rock, keep pushing MIG, all right? Keep doing your thing and have a nice day, all right?